Uh, we're just setting up the car, doing wheel alignment, setting up the batteries, and putting the, all the body work on. Fantastic! And uh, what are your expectations for today? How are you feeling? Well, last year we managed to use this race to get into the finals, so we're hoping to do the same this year. Okay. We've managed to actually get our uh, gearing correct and aero has been done better, so we're hoping to even get better than last year. So, yeah. And since last time people saw this car, have we got any very visible changes? It's bright green now instead of its drab old black. It is and this is your first time in the car, right? Uh, yeah, it is. So how did you find it? Uh, I thought it would be a lot more scary than it was, but <laughs> it was actually quite fun. Yeah, I'm good. And uh, how are you feeling about the race this afternoon? I'm quite excited. I hope I get to race, but you know, I really want to race actually. <laughs> <laughs>fun exciting um, it was a nice smooth ride so just before we were working on the gear ratios it pulled well through the upper course of the uh, track and we managed to come eighth place which is very good I think it's our, our best result ever yeah so we'll, we'll absolutely take that thank you very much. Uh, it's been going pretty well uh, we had a long discussion before the race about which gearing we pick with the new gearing we put in it's very adjustable so we were spoilt for choice on what we could go for and we had a little bit of data um, from practice but we had a few a uh, few sensor issues which meant we didn't have quite enough to have an obvious choice of gearing so we've gone with um, with some gearing we're happy with the amount of lap time degradation we've seen over the race has been pretty minimal um, but it is starting to tail off right now and that's exactly what we'd expect to see with only three minutes to go um, pace has been okay we've been sort of in our own bubble on track we've been about a minute either way in front and behind um, but there's a lot of setup we could do we were a little rushed preparing so I'm sure next week at Goodwood um, a track we know really quite well um, that we can absolutely nail the gear ratio get the car set up to go even faster um, but today today's been a a big success for FFO2. Um, the car's running smoothly, good to know that we're able to adapt to a new track to find the gear ratio we want, um, and I think we've had a pretty fun day, to be honest. Fantastic. got helmets and who doesn't because we've only got one box of helmets yeah we forgot a box of helmets which is fun <laughs> and uh and is that definitely our fault um yes probably yeah probably. okay okay we'll, we'll take that uh you guys excited for today yes yes if we can work out the helmets if we can work out the helmets we might be able to drive which would be bonus and any hopes for today i know you guys got a trophy last time out um we're hope the main aim for today is to collect data on our new motor sprocket <laughs> Which we haven't run yet, so we just need to see which one works better. Fantastic. Good morning, Charles. Uh, what is that beautiful piece of engineering that you're holding there? Uh, well, it's our current pit board, which is temporary for this race because we accidentally forgot the proper pit board mm -hmm. at school. So. so you've gone for... I feel like it's quite effective. Yes, it, it does the job. Yeah, okay. Uh, fantastic. Good luck yep. with it. It seemed like it ran pretty well. It wasn't, uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was running quite well. 
quite smooth. Everything went well, yeah. Lap time's going okay? Yeah, about four and a half minutes, which is roughly where we want to be. Are you the quickest driver? I mean, it's quickest of two, but yeah. Well, we'll take that. Thank yeah. you very much. If you want to find out how the team is doing between vlogs, then you can find us on social media. We are at Firefly F24 everywhere.